Hi, welcome back. I'm so glad you could join me here today. Today we'll be doing a nice little interesting painting. I hope you could follow along with me. Let me run the colors across the screen. Now you don't need to paint along with me. As you can tell, there's some new colors, so it might take a little longer. While they're doing that, let me tell you what I got done up here onto my canvas. I have a regular pre-stretched double prime canvas and I add two layers of gesso. After it has dried completely, I add a thin layer of the liquid white. Rather than that, it's slick, it's red, it's slick red. It's slick, it's ready to go. We can get started with today's painting. Now, I thought today we could do a nice little simple painting, but hopefully captures the eye of the viewer. So we'll see as we go along kind of seeing what elements can help us build that perspective. Now, let, let's start off with the sky. I want a regular sky, so I just went into my two inch brush with some phthalo blue, just a little bit of phthalo blue, and just doing crisscross strokes. Nice little crisscross strokes. Load up your brush a bit more, just as needed there so simple so simple there we are and sort of just blend things out now let me here 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 i'm just deciding where i want more blue spots and you can always blend them out. So that's why I wasn't too worried in adding them in. There we are, just doing crisscross strokes. There, there we go. And I'm gonna take my brush into a little bit of Prussian blue. That's one of the new colors we brought back onto my palette. Just a little bit, Prussian blue is strong. Just getting those corners, just to lead the eye of the viewer into it. There. There we are. And just go across very lightly. And just like that, you have yourself a nice, simple little sky. Now, let me go ahead, let me grab a fan brush and let me load it up with titanium white paint. Make sure it's full of paint. And let's come up here. Let's just decide a cloud that lives out here. There. There we are. Nice and simple. Load up your brush once again. That's why we have paint to use it. There. Just, just like so. And with that same two inch brush that I used, we're gonna come up here and just blend out that base. Only the base using the top corner of your brush. Lift upwards very lightly and go across. And just like that, you have yourself a nice, simple little cloud living out there. Now, let me go ahead with that same fan brush. I'm going to go into a little bit of Prussian blue. Prussian blue, a lizard crimson. A little more blue and one of the new colors phthalo green just give me a nice distant color a little more green just a little bit there maybe a little touch of mountain mixture just the slightest you mix up the color until you're satisfied with it that's the most important thing most important advice i can give you really 
you mix up the color till you're satisfied. And let's come up here and just, I want these to be very, very distant and subtle. There. More things are going to cover it up. There we are. Very simple. And I'm just going to pull some of that color with my fan brush into this. There we are. And I'm going to go back with my two inch brush that I use for the sky and the cloud and just drag out that paint there. I want it lighter towards the base. There we are. And just lightly diffuse. Now, let me go ahead with that same color. I'm going to add some sap green. Introduce a little more greenish color towards it. A little bit more phthalo blue. There. Some phthalo green. Maybe some mountain mixture. I'm just mixing up a pile of color, really. That I don't even know what I want it to be. A little bit of white. And there. I just want this nice sharp tree out here. And just tapping with the fan brush and just letting those bristles come out and just do doing all that work for you. Okay. And maybe, nah, you can always fix things. If you're, you have an idea and you can always change it if you don't like it. I was thinking about doing a bush, but. It looks better that way. I'll do bushes more in front. Uh, maybe, maybe right there. There. There we are. There. Now, let me mix up a quick brown color. So, I'm going to grab a little bit of phthalo green. A little bit of sap green just the mixtures of both of the greens and i'm gonna pick up some alizarin crimson mix it up on my palette real quick just to give me a nice brown color here we go maybe a little more red it's too much to the green side and i expected that because i added quite the green it's about equal proportions when you're mixing up a brown. Let me test out what shade I got. Still to the green side. There. There we are. Now I'm going to just work with whatever I have right now. A little bit of white. Yeah, that's good enough. I just want a little, little tree trunk that might show up in there there doesn't matter if it's really straight the point is it's there there now let me add some more white cut a roll and just dapple in quick Quick little tree trunk highlight. There. Okay. Now, to that green color I had going on, I'm going to load up cadmium yellow. Or with the same brush, I should say. Just mixing up colors, really. And let's add in a little bit of liquid white just to thin out that paint. Let's come up here. 
and just just tap on a couple highlights and just letting the paint really wear off a bit blend with the color underneath there we are the brush does all the work for you all you have to really do is just guide it for it for it to work Okay, load up that brush again. I cannot stress how important it is how you use your paint, how you load up your brush. I might say this almost every other video. It's very important. There. There we are. Now, let me clear that spot out. Let me clean it and I'm just going to get cadmium yellow, that same polluted brush, but it's going to be lighter now and a little bit of liquid white. Let's come up here and just touch in a couple little sparkles, wherever you think that light would hit. There, there we are. Very lightly. Boom, boom, boom. And this one will have more highlights. This one's more out here. These are more hidden, that's why. You just gotta think of where the light would hit and so on and so forth. Now, let me grab a one inch brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of mountain mixture to my green color I had going on earlier. Let me add in a little bit more uh, phthalo green, maybe a touch of sap green. Sap green is more natural kind of green. Phthalo green is more like a bluish green. Let's come up here and just Block in, blocking in some bushes, okay, just like so. Needs a little bit of crimson just to tone down that green. There. There we are. Boom. Just let that bush grow out. There. There we are. And really just pull it. There. We can make that into a lake or river but I think I'm gonna leave it like that just for now now a little bit of phthalo green and cadmium yellow and the slightest touch of your liquid white and let's come up here and I think light would hit most here there Think of each one, uh, paint them in with layers. Don't just block them in at random. This one should be interesting. Okay. Leaving a little bit of that dark color will help you create more depth in that painting. Now, Go ahead, cadmium yellow, a little bit of bright red. Just give me a nice orange color. Now let's come up here. Maybe this one would be orange. Maybe over here, 
Zoom. There. Now just decide what, how you want to paint certain bushes, certain things. Uh, for the rest, I'm just going to add in a little sap green, a little mountain mixture to my color, a little more cadmium yellow. Load it through one direction. That's the most important thing. Loading it through one direction, loading it right. I want some darker than others. So first, um, I'm going to do the darker ones. Just with the nice dark green color. There. And then I'm going to go with lighter green. So maybe over here a bit. There. And then right here. Let's come over here and just very lightly. This one would get all the light. Think about each and every leaf, leaf that lives in there. Now, with that done, we can scratch in a few little sticks, twigs, just to make it look more distant. Just out there in the far. There. And there's a cool little element that when your painting's dry, it just looks cool. It adds another layer. Okay. Now, let me go ahead. Let me grab that same brush and load it into that base green color we had. Just load it full with paint. Now, notice how I have a chiseled ed edge on that brush. Let's come up here and I'm going to show you how easy it is to block in a, an evergreen tree with the one inch. But it requires so much paint. It really does. It'll eat, eat up your paint pretty quickly. <laughs> there. When I was starting out, I couldn't even imagine painting an evergreen with a fan brush, much less a one inch. But it's not that hard once you get the, the little habit, once you know how to work the brush. Okay, and just load up my brush. Let's come up here and just shoop, shoop. There we are. We'll fix up that base later on. There. There we are. Load up that brush once again. Shroom. There we are. And just, I'm going to go ahead, go into my cadmium yellow and sap green mixture, a little bit liquid white. And let's start highlighting some grass. Just think where your lay of your land, the lay of the land goes. I think mine's going to face this way this time. It just made more sense. But if you want it the other way, then that's the way it should go. I'm not here to tell you how to paint. I'm here to show you. The techniques not tell you paint it this way paint it the other way once I start telling you guys exactly what to paint 
like if I say paint this exactly this way I'd probably end the channel because I started YouTube to show people you don't need to paint a certain way you can learn the techniques and paint your way whatever you want and so if I were to be doing that I'm going against what I wanted to do so that'd be the end for me there kind of let it get darker out here a few little sparkles right here I think some land would come out here but it gets darker and darker and darker okay there there we are isn't that so easy just a matter of a couple of taps you can make everything come together now I'm going to add in a little bit of phthalo green into my paint color and let's come up here let me add in a little tree trunk into my evergreen oops I'm not the best at getting the most straightest line down the middle as you guys can tell and just just going up here and just highlighting that's all I'm doing there we are there okay just using the corner of your brush tapping and just goes right in now I'm just gonna add in extra little highlights so I'm just going into cadmium yellow and just here and there just let me add in a little bit of liquid white there just so I could stand out a little bit more there there we are now let me go ahead and I'm going to grab my brown color with my one inch brush a little more red in here since I had green on my brush and there's a path here I have a feeling there would be a path right here you guys could disagree and say no there's supposed to be a river there and maybe a tree in front of that river I think it's this okay and let me go ahead let me add some more white to my brown color cut a roll of paint and just very gently cut across just like if you're doing a mountain just like so there shoom just let that paint break there there we are maybe just a couple here and there and I'm just gonna softly blend it very softly don't want to destroy all my hard work <laughs> hard work <laughs> and let's come up here let's just decide grass is overgrowing this there there we are 
there. And so now, what do I want to do? Let me go ahead. Last thing. Because they're telling me it's going to be time to wrap it up. Maybe you see a little. Or not too little. But maybe you see a like a cabin slash barn sitting out here. You don't see the full thing. And the reason why I don't show the full thing is because I want people's imaginations to work. I don't want um, to show you guys everything and every painting. I want some people to think about it and say, I wonder how the other side looks. A little bit of that light brown. Little paint breaks out here, just there, just a wooden spot, and a little bit of mountain mixture. Maybe, maybe you see a little bit of that door, but rather than that, you don't see much. Maybe you see a couple boards. Wood slabs. There. And all I'm going to do. Fix up that grass. There. And we'll call it a day for today. I really hope you enjoy this painting. Try this painting out. It's a little different. It works more with depth. And yeah, new colors, new videos. <laughs> From all of us here, I like to wish each and every one of you the best of luck. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care, my friend. Goodbye.